Most people don't realize this, but the screen you're watching this on used to be nothing more than ordinary sand. Not special crystals, not exotic minerals, just sand, the same stuff that sticks to your feet at the beach. So how did humans figure out how to transform the most common material on Earth into one of the most important substances in history? Today, we're going to break down the science, engineering, and surprising origins of glass. Let's start with the basics. Most sand doesn't turn into glass. The magic ingredient we're looking for is a mineral called silica, or silicon dioxide, SiO2. Silica sand grains are tiny, naturally occurring crystals. Each grain is a rigid lattice of silicon and oxygen atoms locked into a perfect repeating pattern. But if you heat those crystals hot enough, around 1,700 degrees Celsius, the structure collapses. The ordered grid of atoms falls apart, becoming a glowing, molten liquid. This molten form of silica is the foundation of almost all glass. But here's the problem. Early humans didn't have furnaces capable of reaching 1,700 degrees. That's hotter than volcanic lava and well beyond anything a simple wood fire can reach. So how did they do it? The secret is chemistry, specifically the discovery of fluxes. A flux is a substance that, when mixed with silica, dramatically lowers its melting temperature. Ancient glassmakers used two common materials as fluxes, natron, a naturally occurring salt mixture found in dry lake beds, and plant ash, which contains compounds like sodium carbonate and potassium carbonate. When mixed with silica, these ingredients can drop the melting point down to around 1000 to 1200 degrees Celsius temperatures achievable in early furnaces powered by wood, charcoal, and hand-pumped bellows. This single discovery, that you can change the melting behavior of silica through chemistry, is what made glassmaking possible thousands of years before modern industry. But before humans intentionally created glass, nature did it first. When lightning strikes sand with enough intensity, the sudden heat melts the silica and carves out long, hollow tubes called fulgurites. Volcanoes do something similar, producing natural obsidian, a dark volcanic glass formed when lava cools too quickly for crystals to form. These natural examples were likely the first clues that sand could become something entirely new. Some historians even believe early humans discovered artificial glass by accident, perhaps when a furnace overheated or when sand-based pottery was fired at unusually high temperatures. However it happened, once people realized that sand could melt into a shiny, translucent material, everything changed. The earliest known glassmaking dates back over 4,000 years to ancient Mesopotamia and Egypt. These civilizations built clay furnaces capable of reaching high temperatures, and they refined the mixture of silica, plant ash, and limestone into something workable. Early glass wasn't the crystal clear material we know today. It was cloudy, with a greenish tint caused by iron impurities, but it could be shaped, cast into beads, molded into small vessels, even pressed into decorative tiles. The technique that truly revolutionized glass was glass blowing, invented by artisans in the Roman Empire around the first century BCE. Suddenly, glass could be formed thin, elegant, and hollow, quickly and efficiently. Glass went from a rare luxury to a mass-produced material, so let's talk about the part that makes glass so remarkable. Why it's transparent when the sand it's made from is anything but. The answer lies in the structure of molten silica. When glass cools, its atoms don't fall back into a neat, crystalline lattice. Instead, they freeze into a chaotic, disordered pattern. This structure is called an amorphous solid. There are no repeating crystal planes for light to scatter off, so visible light passes straight through. In other words, glass isn't a solid in the traditional sense. It's more like a liquid that has been frozen in place before it could form crystals. This unusual atomic structure is what makes glass transparent, smooth, strong, against compression, but brittle against impact. It's a material with properties no crystal and no liquid can offer. From beach sand to windows, microscopes, fiber optic cables, and the screen you're holding right now, glass is one of humanity's most transformative inventions. 
and we only discovered it because ancient people were curious enough to melt sand, mix it with ashes, and experiment with fire. If you enjoyed this breakdown of how humans created glass from scratch, let me know what material, invention, or technology you want to see next. And if you want more science and engineering explained in simple, satisfying ways, make sure to subscribe.